Hey guys, I'm going to try to make this video really short, but the good thing is that you can pause it if you need to. I had my headphones brought in so I could mu uh, muffle out any noises in the background, so hopefully that works. Um, this will be unedited. You may hear people walking in and out. I apologize, but I want you guys to know what's going on while I'm gone, and at least when I come back, we can um, I can help you review. I'll send out some um some little exit slips in our google classroom just so i can see you know who knows what who needs help with what i can still help you guys from here um that's what our little stream is for please don't hesitate to ask me any questions that is what i'm here for that is my job if i didn't love it i would not be off trying to make sure you guys know what's going on okay that's how much i love what i do and care for my students all right so we've gone over the segment addition postulate and I just wanted to review. Um, here we have segment UW. Let me see if I can, there we go. All right, here I have segment UW. And um, you, the length of UW is 15. And then here I have segment um, UV and VW segment addition postulate I know that UV plus VW equals UW and that is that pen is not going to work is it let's do that one all right so again comp our good sense right from here to here UV plus from here to here, VW equals all of that, UW, okay? Again, that's why I say it's our good sense. We know two pieces of anything will add to equal the whole, right? All right, so UV is 2X plus 9 plus 29. Please forgive me. It is 3.40 in the morning. Plus VW is X plus 22 equals UW 15. 2x plus x, 3x, 29 plus 22, 51, equals 15. All right, now of course, trying to leave x over here, so we're going to subtract 51 from both sides. All right, so 3x equals, of course, you're going to have a negative over here. 3x equals, what is 15 minus 51? Negative 36. All right, so of course it was going to be a negative, right? 15 minus 51, 51 is larger. Y'all knew that. I'm not trying to uh, insult your intelligence. All right, I divide both sides by 3, and x equals negative 12. All right, um, my main question is, how you told me we can't have a negative distance. Why do I have x equals negative 12? Because the variable can be negative. When I plug it in, I'm going to get a negative, um, val I'm sorry, a positive value negative 12 plus 22 is positive 10 right all right if you have any questions of course guys i'm available just stream me ask classmates i don't mind i just my main goal is that you guys understand what's going on all right and you do the same here uv plus vw equals 2x plus 14. i would like for you guys to solve that on your own and post it, um, stream it uh, with your classmates. Pause right now, and you guys can work on this problem. I want you to pause right now. All right, let's set up the second addition postulate. I know UV. I didn't mean to have the same section um, segment points. Just happened that way. Plus VW equals UW. You guys have done a great job at setting up the second edition postulate. 
makes life easier, right? Now we substitute uv is x plus 6, vw is 8, uw is 2x plus 14. Combine like terms, x plus 14 equals 2x plus 14. All right, let's subtract x from both sides. I know you guys like to keep it positive. I like to make it easy as well. 14 equals 2x minus x. It's x plus 14. Subtract 14 from both sides. And what does x equal? 0. Is it possible? Let's plug it in. What's 0 plus 6? Of course, there's 8 here. 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 14 is 14. Is that true? If this is 6 and this is 8, we add it together. 6 plus 8 is 14. So that is correct. Plug it in. All right, now I have our angles here. Um, we named angles right before we left for the weekend. This large angle is angle ABC. First of all, how many angles do you see here? You should see three. You see this, this angle, this angle, and then the entire large angle. Um, let's make this point. D. So now I have angle A. Don't forget, we talked about the flow. A, B, D. And then we have angle D, B, C. You guys, make sure that you follow that order. It is very important and it makes it really easy. All right, I'm going to quickly show you what we're going to do. Again, don't panic. Pause the video. I just need you to understand it. This is at your own pace, okay? Today, I am going, it's just like the segment addition postulate, except now we're adding angles. We're going to pretty much say, well, we are going to say that this angle, ABD, plus this angle, DBC, equals the entire angle, ABC. Again, that's why I say we're using some good sense. So, remember this symbol we talked about, the measure of angle, ABD, plus the measure of angle DBC equals this entire angle ABC. Every time. So let's follow the measure of angle A, B, D. So this angle plus the measure of angle DBC plus this angle equals ABC the whole angle, this whole entire angle, okay? So this piece was this piece equals that piece. I am not insulting your intelligence. Yes, it is that simple, okay? All right, so let's jump into the first question. You guys do great with examples. Find the measure of angle EGH. So this is the first thing I want you to understand. We're finding EGH, so let's follow. E to G to H. So we're trying to find this angle. If the measure of angle F G H, so here's F G H, so this entire angle is 87 degrees. The whole angle. Look at that, I wrote it twice. And the measure of angle F G E, F G E is 53 degrees. They want me to find this angle. First things first, y'all know I want you to set up the, sec the angle addition postulate. So I want you to say the measure of angle E G H plus the measure of angle F G E equals the measure of angle EGH. Y'all see what I did? This angle plus that angle equals the whole angle. 
So we're trying to find the measure of angle EGH. Measure of angle FGE is 53 degrees. And the entire angle is 87 degrees. And so all you have to do is just subtract 53 from both sides. And that is your answer. What is that, 34 degrees? Yeah. So the measure of angle EGH is 34 degrees. So this is 34 degrees. Now let's check it. Does 34 plus 53 equal 87? Yes, it does. You can pause it if I'm going too fast, guys. The measure of angle QRL is 55. Let's label it QRL, 55 degrees. The measure of angle LRS is 60 degrees. From L to R to S, 60 degrees. They want me to find QRS. Then we find this entire angle. Uh, that's a, a very easy one. We just add the two together, right? This angle plus this angle equals the entire angle. So I just add 60 plus 55 to get that angle measure. Those two together, 60 plus 55, 115 degrees. So the measure of angle QRS is 115 degrees. All right, so when they're simple, they're just simple, guys. Same thing here, find the measure of angle S, F, E. So they want me to find this small, the larger angle. If G, F, E, so that means the whole thing, if you follow it, you have to follow, is 158 degrees. And the measure of angle G, F, S is 28 degrees. So if the whole thing's 158 and the smaller part is 28, you just subtract them, right? 158 minus 28 and that is 130 degrees so this angle is 130 degrees and it looks the part right an obtuse angle and 130 plus 28 is 158 so that is correct so the measure of angle s f e is 100 30 degrees. Find the measure of angle AST. You guys can pause these videos and work them out on your own. See if you get the answer that I come up with. So they want me to find AST. So they want me to find this angle, right? AST there. If RST, the whole angle, is 139 and RSA is 84. So you just subtract 139 minus 84. And that is 55. 139 minus 84 is 55. So you check. Does 84 plus 55 equal 139? Yes, it does. So the measure of angle A, S, T, is 55 degrees. Isn't it cool that we don't have to write the measure of angle? We could just use this to write that. All right, now we get into our variables. Please do not be intimidated. Same thing, angle addition postulate, we'll just write it out. So they, this time we're finding X. The, and all you do is just outline the angle they're talking about. Just take your time, one step at a time. So we'll start here. And label. Labeling is very important. Always. The measure of angle F, E, N is 13X minus 4. And the measure of angle N, E, D is 64. Five degrees and the measure of angle F E D 
is 22x plus 7. And they want us to find x. Same thing, guys. This angle, FEN. Plus this angle, NED, equals the entire angle, FED. Okay, so let's plug in. FEN is 13X minus 4. Plus, NED is 65 equals FED, the whole thing, FED, the entire angle, 22X plus 7. So now it's your algebra, guys. Let's combine like terms. 13x plus 61 equals 22x plus 7. All right. I'm going to subtract 13x from both sides. Look at that perfect straight line. 61 equals 22x minus 13x, 9x plus 7 and subtract 7 from both sides and 61 minus 7 is 60 no what am I talking about y'all excuse me 61 minus 7 is 54 again I told y'all this is not going to be edited And then we divide both sides by 9. And x equals 6. Did you guys get that when you worked it out on your own? Did you try it on your own? Don't be intimidated. It's the same thing as long as you understand that this part of this angle, this angle, plus that angle equals a large angle, you are fine. You guys did great when we were labeling the angles. And so it's very... Um, just it's easy to mess up if you don't uh, label your figures. Make sure you label your figures. All right, find x if the measure of angle ABL is 133 degrees, and the measure of angle ABC, this whole angle, is 37x plus 5, and LBC is 4X plus 4. So we know this angle, 133 degrees, plus this angle, LBC, which is 4X plus 4, equals the entire angle, which is 37X plus 5. 133 plus 4 is 137 plus 4x equals 37x plus 5. I am going to subtract 37, I'm sorry, subtract 4x from both sides. I have 137 equals... 33 x plus 5 I subtract 5 from both sides and I get 33 x equals 132 and then I divide both sides by thir 33 132 divided by 33 is 4 
x equals 4. Plug it in. See if it works. All right, guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Um, you can ask um, a classmate. You can stream it if you're home watching this again. Um, please don't hesitate to ask for any help. Um, I'm here if you need me. Thank you, guys.